In mid-October, the city of Philippines chapter distributed bags of rice to impoverished residents in Manila. Upon receiving the rice, Jofina immediately shares it with her relatives, while Diostado and Renato, who both collect recyclables for a living, decided to cook this rice to help starving homeless children. A candle as his only source of light, this cramped space is where Diostado lives. Since his parents passed away, he has been making a living of collecting recyclables alongside the river. I make 50 Philippines peso a day, sometimes 75. This is how I get by. Living in the same hardship as Diostado is Ronaldo, yet each time he sees starving children wandering the streets, he will cook them a bowl of steaming rice, as he was the recipient of such kindness in the past. When I was little, I slept here on the side of the road. I saw some people collecting scraps and I joined them as well to get some food. There are over 2,000 impoverished families like Ronaldo in Manila, and this 20 kilogram bag of rice is what they have long been waiting for. This rice is important to us. We can eat it even without vegetables. Destado couldn't wait to open up his bag of rice upon returning home. Wow! Wow, this is rice. I've missed rice. I'm missing the rice. The first bucket of rice he scooped out, he shared with his neighbors, as he wants to return their kindness for helping him in the past. When I had nothing to eat, someone fed me. I'm also going to share some of my rice with them in return. Jofina, who lives alone under a bridge, called her relatives and shared her rice with them. I don't always want to rely on others. Sometimes we have to also give back. Knowing to be content with what they have and sharing with others in return, this bag of rice is packed with more love than that meets the eye.